Okay, we're gonna show you how to um, how to tint this window. This is a Toyota Solara 2000. Um, it's frameless. What I like to do is take off the door panel, which I've already done. I have another video on that if you if you'd like to look at that. Um, what I like to do is I, I clean. I already cleaned the window. I kind of wiped it down. I like to mist everything. I like to pre-cut my film. Uh, this window is about 42 inches, so I pre-cut the film. And I brought it over here. So then what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and pull the film out, extend it over the glass. And half inch over the rubber on the bottom here, all the way across, okay? Then we like to miss the film. What I do first is trim away the excess, so we're going to cut away the excess of the top of this. Now, I don't really squeegee it down. It's not really moving on me. Not yet. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, shift the film. So what we want to do first is my first cut is want, wants to be down here in the corner. Uh, we want to butt our blade, our Ofa knife, uh, butt it up against that rubber seal here and cut it right next to it. So we'll come up, it kind of curves right at the end. And then just get your film and pull away as you rip it away. And you'll have a little ear right on the corner there. We'll trim that later. We'll put it on our glass and trim it. Now we go to this corner over here. So all along here, I'm going to trim it here with my blade. I like to start at the bottom. So I'm going to first notch that little piece so I can start my blade. Snap my blade off. I got a nice sharp blade. So what we'll do is we'll run that blade up. Once it hits the glass. All the way up and the same thing going down. You know, we got a nice pretty straight cut there all along this edge here don't run your finger on there you'll cut it <laughs> anyways uh, so now we're gonna do is gonna shift the film over so it leaves us a tiny little gap right here on this corner here we want a little little gap because we don't want the film overlapping some guys shave it I don't shave them but anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet the film again a little bit just a little bit just so I get a little bit more soap and water back there I think this stuff dries really fast and then what we're going to do is we're just going to try to shift it over just a hair. There's a little bit of a gap now there. I don't know if you can see it. See it? See where I left it? There you go. You can see it now. A little bit of a gap right there. So we want to leave a little gap there. And then when we pushed it over, we won't have a gap in the front over here because it'll be tucked behind that rubber. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim along the sides. But right now what we do, is we gotta squeegee out this and the top and down. So then now we have a nice flat surface, not with this big old finger right here because then it'll make my cut crooked. Anyways, uh, so what we're gonna do is we wanna start our blade at an angle. Gotta, you know, first, Create a little slice there and then start your blade and then slide and go all the way across and then and then we're gonna come back. Finish it off so now I keep my finger real close to there, just be real careful. I wear gloves, but I keep my finger close so that the, I'm I'm flattening out the film as I'm cutting it so it doesn't kind of loop on me and then create a jagged cut. So I've cut that top part, 
Now we'll go on this side and then we'll do the same thing and just finish it off. So then now all we need to do is I'm going to put it up on our glass over here and then we'll we'll go ahead and trim this top edge right here, round it off a little bit, round off the sides and then get rid of any of these little ends right here on both sides. So let me see if I can shift you over to my glass. So on here we have this little corner here, there's like a little tab, so we're going to straighten that out, that edge out too, and then do the same thing on the bottom, so I'll just take my ruler, got to turn that away, and the same thing here, this one will round it off because this is the... I flip the film over. See, look at that. This we gotta round this off just a little bit more here. And then we gotta straighten that out there. Now you could use a ruler if you're if you're pretty good with your blade, you could just try to straight across and try to get it as close as straight as possible this is going to be tucked behind the rubber so you really won't be able to see it so then we just round that off a little bit okay so now I'm gonna grab my my piece of film I'm gonna put it right back on the glass I already trimmed it here we leave we leave a space there because we're gonna mold the film so by molding the film it's going to lay down a little bit easier for us, okay? Okay, so what we want to do is we take our squeegee and then we just kind of run it over the top all the way down, kind of like a rainbow pattern. This and then down right here. And then kind of push down as much as you can right there and then we're going to leave all this bottom. It's going to be like, almost looks going to look like fingers, like your fingers are sticking up. I can put my chair behind here so the door doesn't shut and damage this top edge right here. So what we do here, the way I do it, let's take a hard card, make it a paper towel, nice thick paper towel, fold it, put it inside there, and then put on my heat gun, and then I just heat down. Hitting across and down, across and down, across and down. And just so you could see if you could see here, show you one of the fit where these fingers, there's one right there. I think we might be able to catch that one. That one. So when I heat it, you'll see what it does. It kind of gets kind of squiggly and push it down. Squiggly and then push it down. Something over here, it get kind of squiggly, push it down. I'm kind of used to it. I kind of just put it on there and I push down, put it on and push down. I don't even really look at it anymore. But if you got really big fingers, you got to be careful. If they're real huge, you got to do them a little bit of time. Sometimes you got to break them down. But that's pretty much molded. It's pretty quick. Now the next step is going to be back you up a little bit. I already prepped this window, but I'm going to show you how to prep it either way. Um, Okay, so what we want to do is we want to mist it, soap and water solution. Sometimes people ask how much soap water, just pour, pour some soap in there, in your water, shake it up. Something just a lubricant, that's all it basically is. Take your blade, and then you want to run it across. 
Try to do it as even as possible with your razor blade. Um, if you notice that you're leaving streaks really bad, then go ahead and uh, um, switch out the blade to a different one. Anyways, once you finish blading your glass all the way through, then you're going to re-wet re it. I already bladed the whole thing. Um, I've actually already squeegeed this once, but I'll squeegee it again just to show you. My phone keeps ringing, so it keeps messing me up. So what I like to do is I take my squeegee, my yellow turbo, I start from one side, and just go across. And then just kind of overlap half, half the wet part and half where it's dry, so you don't leave streaks. And then I like to flip my squeegee so I get the corner in there, come all the way across, and I wipe it off. I use a real thin microfibers. I get these at Harbor Freight. They're really good for this. That way you don't have to use paper towels so much. They're not good for cleaning, but they're great for like all this type of work. So you want to run your um, paper towel or microfiber towel. You can see that's dirty. So you get all that edge on there. And then I like to wipe this down, even though it shouldn't be a big deal there. I'm not going to hit that because I'm going to slide the film in. So then the next step, Give it a nice little coat of soap and water. I use a lot of soap and water so my film will slide. I could use a little bit more soap, it will probably slide just as good. I'm sorry, working alone, guys. It's kind of tough videotaping and doing this. I don't know why people do videos. <laughs> Anyways, I like to use my teeth to try to um, peel back the liner, kind of slide between your teeth back and forth and then it releases the liner and then you can just kind of grab it. Now normally if I don't I'm using gloves, I use my nail um, to kind of peel it back. But, and then what we'll do is we'll soak the whole thing and we'll, we'll pull the liner off as we go. That's the key right here is on the on this spot right here. I'm gonna show you this because this is kind of a little tricky here. And right here, a lot of guys screw up. I like to pull towards me so the tint comes off the glass and I wet it. And then let it lay back down. That way you don't kink it. You get kinks in there. Just soak it really good. If you're not using gloves, or even if you are, wet your fingertips. Grab the film. And then we're going to get our hand underneath it. We're not going to touch the left side. And we're wearing gloves. We're going to kind of try to slide it in there. Position it, put it behind this black seal here. And then what we want to do is want to make sure we leave a little bit of a gap right here so we don't get any type of peeling. Just a small gap. Same thing on the top. You want to look at the top edge. Some guys leave a big gap. I, I don't leave a big gap. I leave a little gap there. If you're not using very good film, it might peel on you, but this film that we use is pretty good. Um, what we do is we want to work this, these fingers out of here, stretch the film out a little bit. And this probably takes the longest, trying to position it, getting it in there. Now sometimes in this corner over here, you might have a little bit of a, might be a little tough. Like down over here in this corner here, sometimes you might have to use like some type of a card of any sort to try to get in there and then kind of lift that rubber seal a little bit to slide the film in there. Just kind of pick it up a little bit and then just slide the film in there. So once you got this all lined up on top, on the sides here. Then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna squeeze it. So do this nice little wet again, just like a quick little mist. Hold the film with one hand. Take your squeegee, small strokes, go that way. Same thing go the other way. Go one more time all the way across. Okay. There's no perfect way to do this guys, but 
It's the way I do it. Start from the middle, work your way out, back the other way. And then once you get about three quarters of the way, you can go straight down. You don't have a door panel on there, which makes it really easy for this film to lay down once we molded it. Now, that's our initial squeegee. Um, it's one, one quick pass. Yeah, you can go back with your turbo squeegee if you have that only available. Or you could use Blue Max. It says Blue Max right on there. You can see it. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, this has a little handle on it, so now you could really kind of get into your squeegeeing. So I started here going across and then I went down. So now I'm basically building like a little bit of a wall. Short strokes, about four or five inches. And just push the water out. All the way out. Go back to the middle. Make your way that way. Back to the inside. Now most guys stop here, that's it, they're done. They say, oh, I'm finished. Ah. We want to get dry all those edges, so I get a paper towel, just like we did the same towel that we used to mold it, and just go along the edges. Nice and hard, just don't go back and grab the film. Just go outward. So you're catching all that water along the edges and it's sealing it up. Basically drying all our edges and dry the bottom too. Rotate the towel, so you've noticed that it's getting wet. Now you could also double up on the towel and then you could do the whole, if you didn't have a blue match, you could use a hard cart and really get this water out so it dries faster using metalized film or any type of carbon film or even a real thick dyed film. Sometimes they hold a lot of water so you want to get that out so that the customer doesn't see it, it doesn't look too bad. So we're pretty much almost done here. Um, the last step is we just take our heat gun and we're just going to go along the edges um, real quick. So what I like to do is take the heat gun and just 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 5, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. Okay, so it's about, about 10 seconds or so in an area about... I'd say about four or five inches. Do the same thing. Keep going like that all the way around the glass. And then also make sure you, um, sometimes when you peel this corner right here, you might kink it or something. So you want to take extra time right there in that corner and heat it for 10 seconds or so, like we just did. And if you see anything in there, you know, take your little hard card. Um, if you don't have a very new one, then, you know, take a paper towel and push on so you don't scratch the film. Uh, but if you, uh, you have a pretty decent new one, you shouldn't scratch it. This one's kind of old, so I'll just push up there and just get any of the water out. Or When you have gloves, you really shouldn't get too much dirt in there at all, if any. So I'll do the same thing. I'm going to go all the way across. And this is just roughly about 10 seconds. And the only reason on this is because these are frameless. So if this thing gets rolled up and down or it catches on that rubber seal over there, um, I, I don't want this peeling back. So I want these sealed down and done. Convertibles are done the same way. Um, when there's frames, you can do the same thing on the frame ones just to be as a precaution. Uh, a lot of guys don't do that. Um, I used to do it, or I do them on some of them that are real tight doors. If I notice like Mercedes or BMWs or some cars like that that are real, real tight. And uh, more high-end cars are going to have that because they keep out the road noise, so the window seals are a lot tighter. Uh, I tend to uh, heat those, or I'll just heat the corners, like here and maybe up here in the front. Um, now this, being that it doesn't have a door panel... Um, I don't have to heat the bottom, but I do heat, heat the side front here just a little bit. Now, this window's not going to move. We're not going to roll it up and down. It doesn't shift. So this one's a little bit easier than most. 
uh, some of them, uh, some of the cars that are convertibles, they tend to, uh, when you close the door, they move about a half an inch. So you got to make sure to heat the bottoms, the top. You got to heat all the way around the glass. That does take a long time to do. So we're pretty much done here. I'll take a little bit of uh, alcohol and water. I use a. Uh, uh, for every uh, one part of alcohol I use, rubbing alcohol, I use uh, three parts of water. So I label mine, put a yellow thing on it so I don't use that as soap. So you just kind of spray it and then you just wipe it. It doesn't leave streaks, so it's pretty nice. I like using it. And then just go back and check your work when you're done. But, uh, thanks for